The U.S. economy stands to lose a double header. Even though the markets are really happy right now, you've got to take into account the two hurricanes, Harvey and Irma. They could very well hurt GDP. We started talking about this last week. Plus, we don't know whether we'll get that much away to tax reform this year. Charles Schwab manages $3.10 trillion worth of client assets, and the firm's chief investment strategist, Liz Ann Saunders, a friend of our network, closely followed by Wall Street. Uh, Liz Ann? Have you guys modeled for this? No, I, we don't do a lot of precise modeling, particularly on things like this. Obviously, Irma is still going on, so we're not going to have the estimates for that yet. Um, I, I saw one company, Munich Re, estimates it at about $30 billion. I've seen $40 billion. I would still put it in the top five, of course. Mm -hmm. Assuming the current estimates for Harvey are correct, that would make it the number one um, with uh, um, Katrina second to that. If you look at Katrina as a guide for what we might like to see, the immediate hit comes in unemployment claims. And we've already seen the Harvey related spike. We'll, we'll get an Irma related spike. But if you look at the three most costly hurricanes in history, uh, Andrew, Sandy, and Katrina, it took about six to eight weeks before you round tripped and you got back down to the prior storm level of unemployment claims. So that's what I would expect to see in terms of economic data first. Using Katrina again as a guide, you got a little bit of a dip in the um, the quarter after Katrina happened, and then you got a little bit of the rebound effect. And you'll probably see a similar pattern uh, this time. But I think it's too soon to uh, to make precise estimates. Well, then let's uh, segue to tax reform. In the past, I think you were with us in March, and you had the belief, as a lot of people did, because White House was promising, we will see tax reform this year. Are you still of that group that believes? No, we'll see and we haven't we haven't had a view that it would happen this year for quite some time now mm -hmm. just because of the delays associated with uh, with health care um, and a number of other uh, reasons. You know, it, there, there's still, I guess, the hope by some that happens by the end of 2017. We don't think that's the, the case right now. It's just a framework. So basically, it's bullet points on a page. There isn't a bill. Um, it then has to go into committee. Uh, so our folks in Washington think the earliest we're likely to get a bill might be October. But of course, we have to remember that with the deal that the president struck with Democrats, that pushes the next debt ceiling potential government shutdown fight to December. That's another reason to think that the tax reform story is more likely 2018 than 2017. That said, I don't think it's been priced into economic uh, numbers. Most economists have not put it into their uh, GDP numbers. Most analysts have not put it into corporate earnings numbers. So I, I think the delay is not necessarily a negative other than maybe psychologically because it wasn't baked into the numbers. Well, again, these market dislocations were bumping up against the closing bell, but where do you look at in, in this market and see what, what hasn't been already picked over? So I do think that in, in an environment where you have somewhat um, uh, constrained growth, that you, you do want to have a bit of a bias toward reasonable valuations. Harder to find, most certainly, but um, I don't think we are looking at anything resembling bubble-type valuations. Uh, specific to things like the, the hurricanes, we haven't changed our, our sector recommendations. They continue to be technology, health care, um, and, uh, and financials. So uh, we're, we're not making an industry-based change because of, of hurricane effects, although there do tend to be certain industries that do well in the aftermath of hurricanes. Lizanne Saunders, Charles Schwab, we thank you very much. It is a record for the S&P.